Hello and welcome to Soul Voyance. I am Selena and today we are going to be discussing the two cards in the tarot, the Emperor card and the Lover's card. If you get these cards, this means that it's a love situation or an, a romantic attraction to a boss, a boss, a father figure or somebody of um, higher social status to you. But in this case, I'm going to discuss about a work boss, <clears throat> a manager. When doing readings, I have had many uh, situations I come across where somebody, the client, is in love with their boss at work. This is usually an unavailable man. He sometimes is married. Uh, it doesn't always have to be married, but this is what I'm going to discuss today. So these cards represent being in love with your boss. So if you've ever had it where you're a situation where you're attracted to your boss or your manager at work, but it, it, it goes on for months and months, sometimes years, and doesn't seem to form a conclusion. This is, this is what you do. This is the psychological and psychic aspect of what is going on here. Firstly, you, you have formed this attraction to this powerful man. Power is attractive. So sometimes it's actually the power that you fall in love with. It's not the actual person. You don't probably know this person outside of work. So the only uh, personality traits or character you see is the work personality they're projecting. It's not their true personality, their social personality, who they really are. So this is something you've got to look at here. This is all about you being attracted to an unavailable man, somebody of higher social status. Um, it could be that it, it makes you feel secure, it makes you feel good. I think the main reason is that it's safe because it's safe. It's You can hide behind your job. You can hide behind the mask of, of work and not actually have to have a real relationship with this person. It's more about that um, safety of you're attracted to them, you see them on a daily basis at work, but you, you, so you can have a sort of relationship with them in a professional sense and see them, interact with them, be attracted to them, have them around you in person, but you don't actually have to have the real relationships. This is what's going on psychologically in your subconscious. So you've actually picked them subconsciously, believe it or not. You probably didn't think that you picked them. You think that maybe you just were attracted to them. You, you weren't really analyzing it, but actually your subconscious picked them, it, it attracted to them. There are some people that believe their boss is in love with them, but really the boss isn't. They, they boss doesn't fancy them. It just, you know, sees them as a professional colleague. Um, and this again is, it, it can go into delusions where you're deluded and you think your boss is in love with you. I think, I feel from my experience of, as a reader and experience of life is that if a, so I don't just mean man, it could be a female or male boss. Um, but if a person is really interested in you and attracted to you, whether they're your boss or not, they will let you know, they, they will come forward and ask you out. They will let you know, maybe not straight away, but they will definitely let you know. So it's really the intuitive answer here to this, this problem of, you know, you somebody being in love with their boss, but it's not going into a conclusion, is that if it's gone on for many, many months, they've not really made any gestures to ask you out. You don't really know them. They've not really had a conversation with you uh, other than about work topics then it, the chances are they probably aren't in love with you. It's probably going to continue to be professional. This is where you've got to learn how to separate what from what is the reality of the situation from what is the fantasy. Because being in love with your boss can be a fantasy. And for some people, that's fine. That might suit them. That's, that's safe for them. It's what they want. It, it can even provide them with a high like the high of being really attracted to someone that 
hormonal high chemistry and they get addicted to that so that might suit them but I think that the reality is if you are in love with your boss and it's not going anywhere is that you've got to actually start to see the reality of the situation either that he's not interested or that he's married he's an unavailable man in a position of higher power and that it you want to actually now start to step back from that and and cut cords put remove cords to that situation um so because the situation over time can get distressing especially if that person is married or they're they're rejecting you you, you know you could feel heartbroken so you this the intuitive answer is to actually learn how to cut cords and it's all it goes very deep it goes into the emotional roots the emotional core of why you're attracted to someone unavailable or, or also some not just unavailable someone in a position of higher power um, that could be to do with various things could be to do with your first few years of life who your early attachments were to so that could be caregivers parents siblings teachers people like that that's something you could look at but only look at that if you're ready to other areas could just be fear of a commitment fear of a relationship yourself so in a way the boss being in love with your boss is actually safe for you so these are various things you can look at um and actually very gently cut the cords um and i'm going to now tell you how to cut the cords so you are going to do you can you can do this with your eyes closed but you can do this lying down sitting up it doesn't take long you're going to do like a scan of your whole body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and identify any cords that are attached between from you to your boss identify all the places the cords are attached on you and on your boss and you are then going to imagine you are taking a pair of golden scissors and you are going to cut the cords now if you're finding it difficult to cut them that means psychologically there is an emotional block there is something emotional you need to release or to identify and release and that could take time so if you can't cut them straight away don't panic don't force it whatever you do leave it and go try to go deeper so if you can't cut the cord go deeper into the emotional block or what's going on emotionally with that cord or really go into that and maybe give it what give yourself what it needs give yourself what you need so if it if, for example, you couldn't cut the card call to your boss because you needed that love, you didn't have that, you don't feel loved, you feel lonely. Give yourself self-love, pink love from the universe coming down into your body. Instruct your brain, I'm giving myself that self-love and really feel that love coming in from the universe to you, from nature and from your within yourself to you. Once you've done that, um, that's just one example you can then cut the cord and you'll find that you'll be able to cut it then because you don't need the love of the boss or you don't need their validation or acknowledgement because you've just given yourself self-love there. So that was an example if you're struggling with cutting the cords. Once you've cut all the cords, there may be more than one um, attached in different places. They could be your third eye, they could be your throat, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus. That's a common one, heart chakra. Um, you then gently pull out the roots of the cord, so pull them out in your mind and imagine them, you can throw them into fire. You can't pull them out, again, emotional uh, identification, emotional release. Um, you then pull them out, you put them in the fire and you then send lots of golden white light through the top of your head all the way down your body and fill each chakra up, feel all your body where the holes were, where they you pulled the cords out. Imagine everything is now full, whole, complete and fulfilled. And you then 
you you can put some roots down like a tree into the earth's core imagine your feet growing roots and then you're going to feel really refreshed when you open your eyes now you may want to do this more than once i would recommend over seven days it may not be a miracle cure but it may actually start to help you to identify the emotional blocks and, and vulnerabilities which has led to this attachment to this boss this manager at work and then you can actually start to take steps to, to step back and feel good about doing it so it is gradual but it is all part of your self-development and it's about taking control of the situation taking control of your own emotions um, this can be challenging, especially your work. You see, you don't want to jeopardize your job. Um, you don't want so much heartache that you have to leave your job because they've not come forward or they've rejected you, you know, or they're married. So you, you've got to really take control here of the situation. So, so remember, if you do get these two cards in a reading, where you see them, that's the lovers and the emperor, it usually means being in love. A, co a, co a challenging love sometimes with the lovers, being in love with uh, a boss, somebody of higher power, can be a father figure, but an authoritarian, an authoritarian figure here. Um, and there's a lot of masculinity, a lot of fire energy here with this card. Lovers can mean a choice as well, um, a choice or it has two sides to the coin can have two sides to the coin here and but there, there there is there is love and abundance there for you but it's just finding that right kind of love for you if you would like to book a reading or book a master class with me just visit my website the link is under this video and i am on tiktok doing uh, various predictions and I you can very welcome to follow me for free completely free on TikTok and also Instagram Facebook and of course here on YouTube remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you for watching